Hi guys, how are you today? So I found this question on Unreal Engine forum. This guy asking if we can use a single emitter and emit on static mesh and sculptor mesh uh, together in a single emitter. And basically I did that eight hours ago. I posted an image because I was away from my PC so I couldn't make a video tutorial. So basically in this image you will see I have a single emitter and a spawning particle on a static mesh and a skeleton mesh from just single emitter. So now I will make a video. So basically let's make a new level. I'll make lighting a little darker. Maybe two. I'll just make a new folder. Okay, so basically if uh, I'll make a new Niagara and I'll take the fountain FX. and from my project i'll just find a skeleton mesh idle and i'll take can take this mannequin yeah i can take this one or maybe i'll take another This one is perfect. So I'll take this one and then I'll take a static mesh. So for the static mesh, I'll also take a little better static mesh, not just a spare. So in here I have some static meshes. Maybe I'll take this one, this gate. Okay, so it will look good when I'll make a effect. Okay, so basically in this effect let me delete this and take the fountain again so now i have this visible fountain and let's make these particles maybe green and i'll just turn this off and i'll just make this gpu okay so basically i'll delete the velocity and gravity and all these parameters and also shape let's take a static mesh location and you can make this uh, like a parent so when you will make this effect a parent of this mesh like i'll drag this on the gate it will emit the particle on that gate and if you want that for the skeletal mesh i'll just turn this off and take the skeletal mesh and i'll just do the same thing i'll do the parent and this time i'll just make this child of idle none so now and one more thing you have to do here instead of bonds i'll take the surface triangle okay so how to do that how to use these green particles to spawn on this character and also on this gate so basically first thing you have to remove this parent because you cannot make a single particle parent of these two together so i'll just make this source okay and let's also make this source so now you have these two and if you make this uh, user parameter so i have this static user parameter and i'll make the user parameter of skeleton so i have this skeleton user parameter i have two here so now if this is not child of anything if this is not child of anything but you like uh, make a source take a source from here okay and now i am using the source for the static mesh and i will turn off the skeleton mesh so it will spawn the particle and similarly if i turn off this and turn on this and make the source for the skeleton mesh okay but you can you have to use both okay and i have already picked both here so if you'll see in the static mesh i have the source gate and in the skeleton mesh i have the source idle okay so basically what you have to do actually in the uh, skeleton mesh if i'll go here and you will find the spawn group and which is this thing so this has a spawn group zero and if i just duplicate this copy and paste and i'll make the spawn group one for it so let's say you have a spawn group zero on the static me uh, skeleton mesh and on the static mesh i'll make the spawn group 
one. Okay. And I'll compile. And see, it still it's overriding the position. So there's one more thing you can try. That is, I will not use this spawn group here and not here. I will not use this either. So basically, in here, if you see, it's setting the position. So I will just use the output and the static mesh location. I'll just use the output. So I have two outputs for static mesh and skeleton mesh. So what I'll do now here, I'll search the position, drag it here. And then let's take a lerp. And then I'll search here static mesh uh, location, uh, sorry, position and then skeleton mesh location. Okay. And we have now alpha. So if alpha is zero, it's using the static mesh. And if alpha is one, it's taking this. And that doesn't mean if you make 0.5, it will make both. It will try to like morph things. So if you want to morph, you can use that. So now instead of this, I'll just use the spawn group. And spawn group is zero and one. So it will just divide particles between both. Now you can see particles spawning on both. And if you want to decrease the particle spawn rate for uh, either one of these, you can decrease this. Like if I use five, so now it has just five particles spawning and has more. So that means this spawn rate is for my skeleton mesh. You can call it skeletal spawn. Or you can just make a user parameter and then rename it. So if I make a user parameter for this, and this is the spawn rate user parameter. I'll just rename this spawn rate skeleton mesh. And I'll make this a user parameter, new user parameter. And I'll rename this SM. And let's use hundred and let for both. Hit compile. Sometimes you need to compile all. And now here, I'll just turn this off, this off, and you have this. So if you want to increase the spawn rate or decrease the spawn rate of this, you can do. Okay. And vice versa. So this is what you can do. So I hope your question is answered. You, I, and I hope this will help you. So thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye-bye.